Hello, my name is Stein Hans Nesbach and I'm an application engineer here at Nexperia. And today we're going to talk about the new technology used for paralleling MOSFETs. Now, when paralleling MOSFETs, you run the risk of uneven sharing of current during switching, which can stress the device to a higher degree. Now, historically, one way to combat this would be to select MOSFETs with matching threshold voltages. However, with modern trench-based MOSFETs, the voltages can vary within the wafer itself. Another way to combat this would be to then screen devices separately and into batches. However, this is an expensive and logistically complex solution. Now at Nexperia, we do away with all this by developing a new and unique sharing technology where the MOSFETs will naturally share current more evenly during switching, eliminating the risk of uneven sharing of current even when the threshold voltages are not matched. And that is what the demo behind me will show. Now in this demo here, we have two identical setups with four MOSFETs driving an inductive load. Now this is the control group and this is the new this is the board using the new sharing technology. Now here we have a mismatched device on this point and we have a mismatched device on this point and we're trying to prove the benefits of this new technology. Now if we turn this on and drive it we can now see that there's a considerably larger spike with the control group compared to the new sharing technology. And that's exactly what we're trying to achieve. We're trying to reduce this mismatch and spike here compared to regular devices. Now this decay region is always constant regardless of frequency or duty cycle. So if we were to enter 50 kilohertz and drive it again, we'd now see that this response is always identical regardless of frequency and duty cycle. And that's why current sharing is important. This demo contains products from Nexperia's new innovative technology for balanced current sharing when MOSFETs are parallel. Now there are two identical setups but with two different 100 volt MOSFETs in the LFPAC 88 package which are used for testing. One set of regular devices acting as a reference and another set of devices using the new sharing technology. Both products have an RDS sound of approximately 2 milliohms and they have been selected with the same difference in threshold voltage, making this demonstration an apples to apples comparison. Both boards are switching at 20 kHz, and as can be seen, there is a big difference in peaks, and this is exactly what we're targeting. By reducing the current spike for the mismatch device, the decay is also reduced. Designers can now be sure that not all the current will flow through one single device at any time, which increases the maximum current rating of the system, or you could cut back on unnecessary margins and over-specifications. Keep in mind, this switching response is fixed and independent of frequency and duty cycle. So by changing this to 50 kHz, the decaying response does not change. And in this case, it does not even allow the MOSFET to reach steady state properly. The reason this sharing is important is that by balancing the spread of power across all parallel devices, means less stress for any single MOSFET, as we've proven here. Now remember, there is no screening process required to achieve this. There is no special selection of devices needed to achieve the required current rating, which in turn minimizes any associated cost and complexity. Nexperia's current sharing MOSFET technology is currently in development and is due to release in the end of 2020. I hope you enjoyed the video. For more information, please visit nexperia.com. Thank you very much for watching.